<clears throat> I have spent a part of the last two years, parts of the last two years, doing research on the Bible Chair and the Baptist Student Union at Eastern New Mexico University. And coming out of that, I have written a short, rather, <laughs> a rather short uh, type of, of history of the BSU and the Bible Chair. And I want to draw just a few things from that, <clears throat> and uh, I will come to tell you some things that will be a little more humorous than the way I start off, so please don't leave me yet. Uh, if you are looking for the beginning of the Baptist Student Union, and I have the letters here somewhere. <laughs> if, if you are looking for the beginning of the organization called the BSU, the Baptist Student Union, called uh, Student Ministries, Collegiate Ministries today, you could go back probably to 1905 in Baylor University where that the students at there asked their denomination in Texas to take some leadership role in creating an organization just for the college age young people. Now, the YMCA and other groups had preceded this period, but Baptists had gotten a little uh, uh, impatient with them, the job they were doing, or in, and they thought they could do better. And so it all started there, and I'll just give you a few other dates, and then I will move on uh, to something else. In 1914, the Home Mission Board launched the Baptist Student Missionary Movement in Fort, in Fort Worth. In 1919, Texas Baptist had employed a state student secretary. It officially, this organization, became a mission of the Baptist Sunday School Board, now, of course, Lifeway Christian Resources, in 1921. And Frank Level was the first overseer of this national program. He defined the BSU as, quote, the connecting link between the college and the local church. And it's interesting that one of the earliest symbols of the BSU was a three-linked chain. BSU in the middle, church over here, campus over here, signifying, of course, that the connecting link between church and campus was to be the BSU. Well, when you come to New Mexico, which I will very quickly, the general consensus is that the Baptist Student Union started in New Mexico about 1928 or 1929. In the fall of 1929, H.C. Moorhead, secretary of the First Baptist Church Albuquerque, was hired on a part-time basis and organized the First Baptist Student Union in, in New Mexico. And supposedly that is, uh, so, but that is the case. And then in the early 1930s, there were established on five campuses in our state the uh, BSU or the Baptist uh, Student Union. So that's kind of the beginning of that. And then I want to um, quote a few things from letters that summer missionaries wrote back home, either to the state BSU director or the Baptist uh, New Mexican, one or the other. The first one shall remain anonymous, and I think you will understand why before I am finished here. But this person was serving in Mexico during the summer, and she wrote as follows, quote, I was met by nothing but confusion at first because everything, underline everything, was in Spanish. I suspect he was, she was expecting Portuguese. I don't know what else <laughs> might, might have been the case there because uh, she should have known better, of course. And then, and I saw this gentleman out in the foyer just a minute ago. Uh, Dick Ross was a summer missionary in 1964. And in a letter to Turret Sheriff, he wrote about some of his experience. It's, this experience might be labeled saved by Billy Graham. Not in the way that you think, but nevertheless, it, it sounds good. 
He said, we have a difficult time in our work by just having the name Baptist. He was in Trinidad, by the way. We have a difficult time in our work by just having the name Baptist. There's a group here called the Spiritual or the Shouting Baptist. They are a mixture of, Christ of Christianity, Shintoism, Hinduism, and other religions. They believe in spirits, visions, dreams, super superstitions, witch doctors, sacrifices, and most everything else. However, Dick Ross wrote, many people now know that we are the same denomination that Billy Graham is a member of, so our work is picking up. So <laughs> that saved uh, Dick Ross's summer then, I guess, after all. And then there is this letter from a student that many of you will recognize his name, Jerry Kane. He was a graduate of Eastern and he became president of Judson College and has just retired from that. He had a wry sense of humor, and I think he still does, but it, it pops out here, I believe. After he had arrived at all places, Trinidad, uh, he wrote back home as to how it went for him getting there. He said, I made it, believe it or not. At Lubbock, I got on the wrong plane. My plane in Dallas was late, so I missed my plane to Miami. The plane to Trinidad was delayed, so I got here at an hour and a half late. Other than that, it was real enjoyable. <laughs> so, so, so he had some problems there. And then he had problems at the Columbus Hotel in Miami. Again, you'll see his sense of humor here, I think. He said, I spent two nights there and they charged me for the meals and uh, for the room. I showed them the letter that said the travel agent had already paid for that and they said they hadn't received it yet. If it came in, they would return the check to the travel agent so he could pay me. And he said to, uh, Truett Scherf, to whom he was writing. He said, I hope you understand this because I'm not sure I do. <laughs> and so he had some problems there. And then this, uh, and this might well be labeled, my summer missionary orientation didn't prepare me for this. And uh, it's not a very humorous thing, but it does illustrate uh, what summer missionaries are forced to deal with sometimes. He said, Tuesday, a 22-year-old man suffered a stroke in our service and died yesterday. He said, in all those orientations, they didn't tell me what to do in such a situation. <laughs> so I suppose he had to do a little ablibbing ab there. One other thing I want to touch on briefly. The Eastern New Mexico University um, is unique in the sense that it started out with a Bible chair January the 1st, 1937, and it has continued uh, to this day. Through the process of all these years, there uh, have been up, uh, uh, my writing of this history, by the way, was to end in the summer of 2011, and it did. Uh, but within that period of time, 1937 to 2011, there were 10 men who were teachers, sometimes BSU directors as well. And there were four ladies who also, three of whom taught either, uh, well, taught one course a semester. And so they have the status of being an instructor as well. But uh, in these years now from 1937 to 2011. As I say, there were 10 people, and if you divide that up, of course, you can do the math there. I was there some 27 years, and the way I figured, the average uh, uh, teacher was there about five years, and the way that I figured that, if I was there 27, I probably kept four other persons out of a job. <laughs> But, uh, but it was an enjoyable time, and uh, the Baptists are to be thanked and, uh, uh, for beginning this Bible chair and continuing it. Uh, there's a lot more I could say, but the bottom line is, Baptists are people who are concerned about the education of their young people. 
in a Christian context. And hence the BSU, Collegiate Ministry, and the Bible Chair have functioned and served our youth uh, all these 75 years. Thank you.